What's going on ladies and gents, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, Joker back again, once again, and today people, today, we're going to be talking about matchmaking. So, let me make sure I understand this. Somehow, some way, when Bungie went from 4v4 to 6v6, they broke matchmaking. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is the best matchmaking's ever been, or has been since Destiny 1, so a happy accident, but... How? 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 But not all is well with this happy accident. The community is kind of split on it. Some people love it, some people hate it. Like my co-host on the DTR podcast, JRAM. He's a really cool guy, by the way. And he had a very interesting point about this subject. He said, most of the people praising this system are the people getting 40 to 50 kills a game. And he's absolutely right. It sort of falls on deaf ears when the PvP elite are telling us that this system is amazeballs, that it's perfect, that it's the most fun that they've had in Destiny in a long time. I mean, I certainly understand the allure of easily stomping lesser players to the sum of 40 or 50 kills per game, and how that could be fun, but you gotta imagine being on the other end of that beatdown isn't too terribly fun. If only, if only, if only. There is a way to fix this, so that everyone could be happy. If only, if only, we we had the technology. We had the technology to create something, uh, like, like maybe preference settings? Nah, that's, that's absurd, that's preposterous. But let's think about it, let's explore it. What if, what if we created these settings that allowed players to personalize their matchmaking experience with the caveat that if you do this, your wait times may be longer. Or, and or, and or, if, if that's impossible, if that's completely against the pale, how about, um, oh god, it's, it's just, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. Uh, what if we, what if we had a, oh, oh fuck, man, a playlist with a, with a competitive bent to it, but it encapsulated game types that people actually wanted to play, like Team Deathmatch, and control instead of these pseudo competitive elimination game types if only we had like an actual ranked playlist for slayer and fucking i don't know i uh, 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 what's what's that other game type that we have it's like the only other one um mm, mm, it's right there on the tip of my tongue control yeah control ah just but that just that just seems so impossible i mean at this point i really don't fucking get it Instead of constantly fucking with the matchmaking system in a way that will never, and I mean never, make anyone happy, why not just, I don't know, allow people to customize their own experience? That's the only way that this debate of what's best for Destiny's matchmaking will ever be solved. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but Bungie's been absolute shit when it comes to finding a middle ground between the two, so just, just stop. Just, just stop. The only middle ground is to allow players to choose how they want to play. Having settings, or if that is completely and utterly impossible, if you can't be bothered to do that, having a proper competitive playlist with Slayer and Control and letting people play that ranked, and then letting people play what they want to play, those exact same game types, socially, is, is a great middle ground as well. Also, could we get any indication in-game during competitive play of the rank of the people that we're playing? Could, could that happen? Can, can, can we have that? And it's like mandatory, right? It's not just an emblem I can put on or take off. It shows all the time. I shouldn't be going into my first competitive match ever and getting curb stomped and then find out on a third party app that the guy who just curb stomped me has had like 800 flawlesses. If I'm about to get a boot stuffed up my ass in the ways of old, I would appreciate some warning. I would I would love to know what I'm about to um endure. If uh if I'm going to be taken in the ways of old, then I I would at least uh like a little warning, you know, so I could put some lube on. 
you know, maybe maybe make it chafe less for both of us. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Also, just another suggestion, and maybe this is just me, but if you're going to have ranked play, have ranked play. Have things like qualifying matches, matches that place you in rank brackets based on how well you do. Because currently, it's just grind wins go up, lose games go down. But even then, it's not a one-to-one. -one. It's less about skill and more about figuring out how to game the system and how long you're willing to hold out for. And again, from what I can tell, that number is just arbitrary as fuck anyways. I mean, look at the aforementioned first game ever versus the second coming of God. I don't know how your algorithm matches people or if there's just so few people in that playlist that it just puts people into games, but uh, that should not happen. Help. I don't know why this is happening at all. It's not like you guys, or Bungie as a company, has never done this before. Especially you, Lars. You have been doing matchmaking for games like Halo and Destiny for years now. Stop trying to reinvent the fucking wheel. I mean, Halo basically had ranked tiers and qualifying matches. You'd play like five to 10 matches. You'd get your 30 or your 40 and then you'd play up to 50 or you'd play within your rank tier. And you'd go up based on wins and you'd go down based on losses. But you'd eventually come to a point where you got stuck because that was your rank. You're not getting any better. On average, welcome home. Now, did this have some exploits and problems? Yes, of, of course it did. But at least it was a ranking system and not an arbitrary grind that just tests patience over actual skill. And this isn't me just jumping on this bandwagon where people want to talk about matchmaking. I've been talking about this for a year. Number four, matchmaking preference options. For as long as I can remember, Destiny's PvP has been in constant struggle between skill-based matchmaking and connection-based matchmaking. Since Bungie doesn't seem too keen on giving us an actual ranked playlist, opting for something that they call competitive, which seems to just be elimination like game types as opposed to actual ranked play, another solution would be to do what other games do, which is to give the player control of the type of experience that they want. If somebody wants to play better players because the only way to actually get better is to play better players, then they can set a preference for more skill-based matchmaking. Don't want lag? Well then, perhaps maybe you should choose connection-based matchmaking. Or you just want to go and play without worrying about settings? That should be there too. Have at it. Why this won't happen? Although these options have seen a lot of success in other games, I don't think Destiny's interface really allows for it. They seem to be really obsessed with this push a button to do an activity interface, which really doesn't give way to customization. Sure, they can put the matchmaking options in with things like your controller settings or your helmet behavior, but at that point, it's a menu buried in a menu under other menus. And this is just me spitballing, but god damn if it's not frustrating to watch. Because at the end of the day, there are so many other clear-cut and concise ways of operating a matchmaking system that Bungie just decides not to do. They're like, eh, yeah, we could do that, but no. No, not Destiny. Oh, fuck no, not Destiny. Destiny, you see, has to be different. Bungie, I know you have a hard time understanding this concept, but if it's not broke, don't break it, and don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't try to reinvent ranked play or matchmaking options. There's things out there that work, that people like. Just do that. But hey... Those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below, and like always, stay frosty.